folks, Mag T back in the uh, Mag T Ford Edge, and I have some pretty interesting uh, discussions going on in the Facebook group about coolants. It seems that Ford has ditched the orange. That's right, the orange that I currently have in my 2019, as you see in this video watching it. Uh, you know, it does have that uh, coolant in there. So let's, let's listen up a little bit on this, and we'll be right back to you. And we can see we have the, I guess, uh, I want to say it's like a red or orange. I guess they can call it an orange if you really want to. Uh, looks pretty weak as far as an orange color to me. <laughs> Under pressure, holy cow. And that is it right in there. So, yeah, really interesting that it had that much pressure in it, and I have not driven this, uh, gosh, for about uh, five days. It still had all that pressure in there. So, yeah, that's where we're at with that. So, that is the coolant that... I'm not sure what they're talking about, but I'm thinking I got it, and they're saying not to use it. So, eventually here I may uh, trade her out for some of the Peak and go with that instead, because that is a universal coolant. Now, as you saw, I had uh, did a little bit of a walk through starting out with my other edges, but we ended up with the uh, 2019 there, and it does have that nefarious orange coolant in it. So, uh, being that they're calling it quits on that, guess what old Mac T's probably going to do? That's right. We're going to change over old uh, Lilo to some peak coolant and uh, get that done and get that flushed out of there so we don't have to worry about corrosion and all that good stuff. Because, uh, I, quite frankly, over the years, uh, up until now, uh, Ford has, has went through a fair, you know, like a rainbow of coolants, especially for the Ford Edge. Do you guys know how many different colors of coolants they've went through on the Ford Edge and other vehicles even more so? But the Ford Edge, since its uh, inception in 2007, has started out with, uh, believe it or not, uh, a gold type coolant that they were working with, uh, and then they, uh, or a you know, yellow rather, I'm sorry, it was a yellow. And then they went to the dark green for about uh, two, two model years all combined. Uh, one full year in 2010 and then a half a year on nine, and half a year on 2011. Uh, the the uh, yellow was only in place for a year and a half and they had problems with that with heater cores so they went to the dark green and then they went to the uh, the dark yellow orange or whatever they want to call it now and uh, that is no longer good anymore either so uh, now they went back to the yellow <laughs> so uh, yeah it's you know for for engineering and testing out chemicals and everything else I'm going to tell you one thing that I have found over my hundreds of thousands of miles of driving, I've been using peak coolant. I've been using peak coolant, and I'm not being sponsored by this, by the way, folks. I'm just telling you what works for me. Uh, they don't do the long life thing. The bottle has uh, changed, as so have a few other things. But the peak is essentially a uh, universal fluid, uh, fluid coolant for uh, most vehicles. Um, they meet all the ASTM standards and everything else that they need to, corrosion inhibitors. Uh, basically, this stuff works. That's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, Ford has switched. They might have uh, taken and adjusted their uh, things here at peak a little bit, but uh, basically, you get a warranty with this stuff too. So, anyway, peak pretty much is a good deal. I'll leave that right up there for a minute. Uh, you have choices right now as far as your coolant goes. A lot of people ask in the group the questions, should I switch? Should I buy it? Can I find it? Where can I get it? And the, the problem is, where can you get it? If Ford's going to discontinue it, 
it may be for sale yet but here's the deal they're only selling out their stock to get rid of it even though they know you're not supposed to be using it they'll sell it to you to get rid of it so they're not stuck holding the bag on it so uh, your best bet is to if you want to stick with motorcraft products buy this supplemental uh, yellow that they're saying to buy and uh, flush your system out that means you're gonna have to go buy like a Prestone or Xerox flush or something of that nature flush the system out with distilled water clean it out really really good get it nice and clear water running through it then once you've uh, accomplish that feat and got good clear water running when you drain it then you can take and uh, uh, flush out the flush you know that's what you're gonna have to do so you flush it out with the flush and then you take and, and uh, again cycle it through and keep in mind it's gonna be hot because you're gonna be cycling and running the engine uh, but take your time and patience on it and uh, once you accomplish the flush and get all the flush out of there uh, and got good clear water coming out of there again then you buy the concentrate now this is uh, as far as I know this is a 50-50 mix they sell the concentrate it's a pretty simple process I've shown you all in videos how to do it but the whole point of the matter is once you're down to just water again distilled water folks not garden hose water distilled water uh, then just dump the concentrate in there and fill it up. That should put you just about at the 50-50 mix that you're really looking for. Uh, once you get that, use a measuring device. I don't know. I got a couple of these here. Oh, heck with it. There we go. You know, this is a Xerox, Xerox uh, coolant tester. Pretty simple. They're cheap. You buy them at parts stores everywhere and uh, you just test it and that will help you out as far as what you're looking for but as far as the uh, peak goes and everything else you want to make sure that uh, you get that taken care of now as far as anything else goes with this coolant just keep in mind holy cow I can't get myself situated here moving around uh, th this is really important in taking care of your vehicle for the coolant and getting it done right because if you got corrosion issues because of this orange you want to get that out of there folks get it out I'm gonna get it out of my car my 2019 has it in it if they're saying it's gonna cause corrosion in the heater core I don't want a new heater core so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the peak you know you guys can follow along and see if it works for me but it's been working for me for years so I'm going to continue on with what I'm doing and move on with the peak and get, get my coolant flushed out and get that orange out of there because I, I don't want to have it in there. i got to get that out of there as far as I'm concerned uh, to save me some effort. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. You guys need to take, and take heed of what's going on. Uh, you can go with the Motocraft and flush that out if that's what you really want to do and uh, yes I do realize mine's under warranty yet but you know what coolant's coolant and uh, we'll just carry on from there if I got problems then they can you know complain to me later but uh, uh, that is something we need to pay attention to because quite frankly they've been using the orange since uh, 2011 and uh, apparently it doesn't work either and then now they went to the yellow again so uh, yeah going forward to go backwards I guess yeah, I don't know figured they'd have this coolant thing figured out by now uh, but uh, apparently they don't so anyway we're gonna change out the coolants in there and uh, I got got a little bit of a video here about what I got going on I'll be back with you in a minute I'll show you what I'm doing with my vehicles and what's in them right now and I'll be right back this is the uh, peak coolant that I have in this 2011 Ford Edge. I've been running it for about 200,000 miles. It's got 307,000 miles on it now. So, yeah, coolant. The peak works pretty good. No issues. And I have peak in this Ford Edge. I have peak in this Ford Ranger I have peak 
in that Ford Edge and I have Peak in that Toyota Highlander and the other one yeah it has uh, factory coolant because it's only got 8,000 miles on it let's go check out what's in there as far as the backward compatibility and use of the Motorcraft yellow antifreeze and coolant within place of Motorcraft orange antifreeze coolant official uh, document from Ford uh, basically saying that the Ford engineers approved the use of the yellow colored Motorcraft antifreeze coolant specification WSS M97B57-A1 and WSS-M97B57-A2 to service all Ford Lincoln Mercury vehicles filled with the following antifreeze coolant the orange colored Motocraft orange antifreeze coolant Ford specification WSS-M97B44D in WS-M97B44-D2. Yes, so now we got it official. Uh, Ford is basically abandoning the uh, the orange antifreeze and uh, going with the yellow. Yeah, change number, whatever. Uh, basically, they say do not use the yellow coolant to service uh, your vehicles filled with the factory motorcraft uh, coolant in the case of these vehicles coolant is not compatible therefore is not approved for use continue to service vehicles using only the correct recommended antifreeze coolant other service information if you're going to top it off and refill it motorcraft yellow coolant antifreeze can be used to top off or entirely replace drain and refill antifreeze coolant in vehicles factory filled with the orange antifreeze coolant so they're saying, you know, change it out. Now, they're saying about flushing. The flushing in the coolant system is not required to be used, uh, uh, is not required prior to entirely replacing draining, refilling Motocraft orange antifreeze coolant with Motocraft yellow if the cooling system is not contaminated. So that's a big opening there. Yeah. So basically flush it out and then refill it with the uh, with the yellow if that's what you're going to go with now the 6.7 diesel engine coolant test corrosion protection test kits for extended life coolant rotunda and motocraft specialty orange coolant revitalizer and other usages so if you're doing with a 6.7 diesel uh, is caught up in this so you want to do a coolant test procedure on that and uh, they have a whole list of other things that are covering uh, what you need to do as far as dealing with the 6.7 uh, diesel. You got to do a testing under there. Uh, normal schedule maintenance, you got to follow the factory fill and if there's coolant change out intervals in the scheduled maintenance section of the owner manual. Uh, they use a Ford Escape as an example. Uh, they're saying that the escape owner's manual section initial replacement is six years or 100,000 miles, then every three years or 50,000 miles. Okay, uh, I personally don't advise going that long on the coolant. Uh, you're better off doing, uh, you know, 50,000 miles is my opinion. Uh, severe driving conditions should always be adhered to. But basically, uh, that's what they covered in the Motorcraft uh, changeout that I'm talking about here with this antifreeze and coolant. So let's go ahead and continue on where we left off. So, coolant is coolant, right? Well, apparently Ford hasn't made that decision. You know, nothing's saying bad about them. I'm sure they're constantly looking for that holy grail, but... Uh, this engine, 307,000 miles with peak coolant, no water pump failure. So, and I know I remind you all that all the time, but hey, if it's working, why not use it? And uh, that's what I've chosen to go through, and that's what I'm going to use. So, that being said, uh, save yourself a couple nickels, do that coolant flush to whatever. If you want to stick with the Ford recommended product, by all means, do so if that makes you feel comfortable. I myself personally feel comfortable using Peak. So that's what I'm going to use because I've never ran into a problem with it. Everything works great. I don't have corrosion that I know of. 
and that tells me a lot. So anyway, Mac T Ford Edge here. Hope this answered your coolant questions a little bit and what's going on with this orange changeover to the yellow and uh, the, all the different things that are causing people to get scurried around to find coolant. And hey, remember, if they're selling you the orange, that's because they don't want to be stuck with it. So keep that in mind if you're buying it to change your coolant out. There's a reason it's for sale yet. <laughs> but they are not, you know, they're going to sell it. That's all they're going to do. So, you know, pay heed, folks. If you're going to do it right, do it right the first time and uh, get it changed over. But either way, this is Mac T Ford Edge. My, my uh, channel is doing great. I love all of you that do go to it. Remember, go to Facebook group and join the Facebook group, folks, because... That is where you can get everybody. Uh, got too many videos and not enough time. So answer everybody's questions there is almost impossible for one person trying to make videos and run a lot of other stuff. So, And I have a day job. So uh, it's just the way it is. So sorry if I'm not answering questions there, but go to the Facebook group. Join it. And then, of course, the village can also help with the knowledge. And that's what it's all about, helping each other. And, uh, gosh, what else? Uh, Band of One's always playing some great music. Mercy Grill's always tossing out a couple one-liners. My V hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. And uh, that's about it. Let's go and change some coolant. See you all next time. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.